man, we haven't talked about WV you in like, uh, since week four of our show, oh, wow. <laughs> our fourth episode, but Hey, we finally got some West Virginia news so for all you West Virginia fans that follow us. Uh, kind of big news, I guess. West Virginia, uh, signed a four-star quarterback. Nico Marchio, Marchio or Marchio, Marchio, Marchio. He's got an L at the end of his name. Hey, uh, Nico, if you're watching our show, uh, why don't you let us know how you pronounce your name and come on and do an interview. Big news though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, uh, he's a good pick, but he's been kind of, well, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, he flipped. He was committed to Florida State mm -hmm. and he, uh, he switched. You always worry about that with these guys flipping. It's been happening a lot more. Nothing's signed. It's just a verbal commitment. Yeah, now, and there's a long but, uh, time till the season. But for right now, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I heard some rumors that some other players are going to come. Good players say he knows to play with him. Well, that's what we'll I was going to mention. After he got announced he was committed, on Twitter, you've seen a lot of other four-star players having conversations with him and him telling him, let's go, let's do it in West Virginia. Uh, a big one, Jacoby, Jacoby Smith, who we talked about in like week two of our show, a uh, four-star wide receiver that had West Virginia on his list of 16 to 20 teams. He was one of the first people Nico reached out to and said, hey, let's do it next year. Yeah. And he's got three teams left to decide. West Virginia is on his short list of three teams. I'm guessing it's between them or Miami. So Jacoby Spells might be there uh i saw another i can't remember who it was four star running back having a conversation with him so that's the big thing about these guys honestly you don't know if they're going to turn out to be any good west virginia's had some four star quarterbacks that have turned out to be nothing <laughs> so you never know but what makes this big i think is as for a recruiting standpoint now you're going to get some wide receivers and uh, running backs potentially giving West Virginia a harder look. They're getting a good class, mm -hmm. putting together a good class. Another issue you have is this this transfer portal stuff. Yeah. Because you don't know if a player is going to stay. If a team's flailing and a team's doing terrible, mm -hmm. these guys are just going to leave. Yeah. It's hard. Nowadays, it's harder than ever. It's become kind of like basketball. Mm -hmm. Instead of guys, you know, you're, if you have really good players, they do really well, they go to the draft. In football, you know, you have good players, they do really well, they're going to go to a good team, Transfer especially ball. if the prospects look bad. Yeah. So that's why you got to put it together on the field if you're finishing in the middle or bottom half of the Big 12 every year. These guys are going to go. They're going to go any 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 guy that becomes a star is just going to leave because he's going to go somewhere where he has a chance to win something well one thing that's good about this too he had a lot of offers and he had some big school offers he turned down florida arizona state uh georgia state georgia lsu louisville uh michigan mississippi nebraska rutgers TCU, USC, man, South Carolina. I mean, he turned down some big schools to come to West Virginia. When? Those weren't like uh, some little schools reaching out, and this was his, I mean, some top schools in there. So that makes you kind of hopeful. Uh, hopefully this speak is, you know, finally Neil Brown's recruiting that we've been hearing about is finally turning into something. Well, he's going to get a chance to play early. We really don't have a quarterback for the future. No. I mean, he might be in freshman year. Um, which is good yeah, for him too. Come. I mean, that's another way to keep him around if he's playing. Yeah, it's a passing league. You're going to get the opportunities. Your competition's probably not as much as these other schools. So come bring some dudes mm -hmm. and get together, build it. Maybe we'll have another good era. It's been a while. I hope so. We've been due, man. Uh, I right think Rivals has him ranked as the 14th top QB prospect yeah. right now. Well, the 2021 class has two ESPN 300 commits. Uh, we got two four stars, no five stars, 14 three stars. The 2022 class has one four star right now. And but they're building. For West Virginia? Yeah. 
I thought we had a couple four star uh, defensive linemen that just transferred. That transferred or yeah. committed? Oh, you mean you're talking committed? Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, this could this could get the ball rolling. Like I said, I've seen him talk to a bunch of four stars on Twitter after he committed. <laughs> but this is something West Virginia hasn't had yeah. in a long time either. When's the last time we've had a quarterback that we actually recruited from high school? Geno Smith Transfer. is the last guy that we recruited oh, from Gino high school. Oh, Geno Smith, that, yeah. That played. Mm-hmm. I think of Will Greer was a transfer. Uh, yes, Will Greer, Dagey was is a transfer. Well, David Austin Sills Kendall. we recruited, right? Even though he ended up being a wide receiver. Yeah. He was a four-star quarterback recruit. Uh, uh, he, yeah, he played receiver. Yeah, he, he ended, ended up, up switching one. to receiver. Mm-hmm. So it's been a long time. And there's something to be said for being in the system more than a year or two. So. Yeah. It's good. It's a good sign now. And he's a big kid, 6'3", 218. I mean, that's put a it together. pro-sized quarterback already. Got to put it together. We'll see. Trevor Lawrence in Pittsburgh, dare I say. Is this the next T. Lawrence? No. No? <laughs> Harry, I'm trying to hype up our fan base here, man. You never know, though. Sometimes you get surprised. I don't think T- – Trevor Lawrence was hyped before he got in. He yeah. was big time. But this could be – this guy has more hype than somebody like Pat White had when they came in. Yeah. He ended up being so. one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Hey, if he's better than Will Greer, and if we can get, you know, Will Greer, Geno Smith level quarterback, I'm for that. I could see, I could see, I think if you could get a Geno Smith, mm-hmm. possibly better. Maybe Will Greer is better. Maybe. Will Greer had a lot of hype. It could be similar. You got to get some people around him, though. Yeah. And this opens up the opportunity too. Again, hopefully we start seeing the ball rolling out, snowballing in the next few weeks. We get some more four-star recruits that want to come play with them, some wide receivers. Jacoby Spells, I'm talking to you, man. We've been trying to recruit you since week two of this damn show. Let's go. Enough playing around. He tweets pictures in every jersey that that uh, he's the team that wants him. He tweets the Arizona State fans. Get me to 4,000 followers, which is cool. It's a new age. I understand <laughs> everyone was followers. Stop yawning, Harry. Stop yawning, Harry. Stop yawning. Oh, we need these guys. Okay, get bored with them. team sport. We need these guys. We need them. Hopefully, he's the next one. If you get uh, our four-star QB and then Jacoby Spells commits next, who knows what happens by 22. 22 could be an exciting year. See? 